Well, he's 75 years old now. And, you know, you see him on Twitter. He's living his best life. He's usually on the golf course, having a good time. It, 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 you're right. And it always blows me away that I don't follow him on Twitter, but everybody tags me. And it bothers me so much. <laughs> they put anything that's OJ related, it's mine at Cato Kalen. And I go, God, I wish they'd hate to do that because I pop up and I look at it. But you're right. And it's like, God, there's, there's women that still love him. There's, there's yeah. men that put autographs. There's a partier. But I always think there's, that's the side you can see. There's always another side. There's, there's good and bad. And, and uh, that's, that's going to be the rest of his life with good and bad. Yeah. I mean, we've, uh, we've spoken to you know, his go-to guy about doing an interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we were talking about various numbers and so forth. And originally, it was like he was willing to do it. He just didn't want to talk about anything to do with the murder case. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that interview. I mean, yeah, what's the point? I mean, I'm not going to do an interview about his, you know, football career and so right. forth. And they actually approached me again recently about doing it. And we started to have our talks again. And then those talks kind of fell off. And then he ended up doing an interview on the Full Send podcast. And the highlight of that interview was whether he was Khloe Kardashian's real father. And? <laughs> he said he wasn't. Uh, you know, but that was like- That's nothing. That was not going to be a Vlad TV interview. I was. Well, you know, yeah. they, they, I think they found someone that was willing to do a softball interview. They knew so, that with me, that wasn't going to happen. So Vlad, I, here's what I don't understand, and I don't know. You never. You only talk to his people. Yeah. His I haven't person. talked to him. I mean, I DM'd but, him on Twitter, and he yeah. hit me back with that person's name. So right. I haven't talked to him directly. Does it make sense that he wrote a book? He he goes the if I did and all that. That he doesn't want to talk about it. Is it because of uh, legal? He thinks he'll. You can get him to. You know, I don't know because I, I would think that I think people want yeah. to see, you know, after the Academy Award winning the ESPN documentary, the, the I guess, 18 Emmys, whatever, for the uh, Ryan Murphy yeah. uh, American crime story. Yeah. And it's like, there's so much you can pick up and get him to I don't know, slip up or whatever. But I think, I think he's going to do it. Uh, you know, it's not good. It's, I think he wants... I think he loves it so much that he wants to go on. And, and once again, if you, if you give him these questions, he says he doesn't want to answer the questions, but I think he, I think if you do it the right way, which I think you do, mm. you know, who, who knows? I, I, I can't say, but you think that, uh, I think maybe he's got so many people that think, oh, they forgot about it. I'm going to just live my life or I, I don't know. I mean, look, it's hard to say because there's a double jeopardy rule, which means that since he was found not guilty, he could technically talk about it and they can't charge him. Is, right? that, a, is that a talking point you brought up to them? Uh, no, no. I mean, we didn't get that far. We didn't really get that far. Uh, you know, I mean, we have the budget for a major interview like this, yeah. but ultimately, yeah, he technically can't be charged, but my feeling is he's going to die with this information because if he came forward and said, yeah, I really killed those two people, mm -hmm. I think that the overall hatred and backlash from the few fans that he has, like he would lose whatever fan base he's ever had. Right. And he still has that fan base. I mean, listen, I've interviewed a lot of people and I brought up his name and some people think, well, he was found not guilty. And yeah, you know, there really was a racist cop that was established. And, uh, you know, when you talk about like the black community, you see what happens with white racist cops and black people historically. Yeah. You know, even, you know, down to the George Floyd situation. Right. Imagine if there was no cameras with George Floyd. That cop could have, pro would probably have walked away from it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And, you know, they, they created, you know, the whole racist cop and the glove not fitting. They created a legitimate reasonable doubt. Now, if I was on the jury, I would have said guilty, but, yeah, you know, I also don't have the same experience as an African-American person in America. Right, and it also has to do with the Rodney King case. There's a Rodney King case King, that happened in LA as well. So in 92, people- think, Well, I mean, there was also leading up to the Rodney King situation, there was also the, the black girl that got shot by the Vietnamese uh, store owner. You know about that? No, is that during the LA riots? That was before the LA riots. Okay. Basically what happened was there was a, a black girl, um, Latasha, who came into this um, uh, Korean owned uh, corner store and the woman behind the counter accused her of stealing like a soda you know, an argument ensued where they try to, the woman tried to grab her bag and she kind of fought back and started to think like punch the woman or something. And when she turned around, the woman shot her in the back of the head oh. and killed her. It went to trial and the woman was found guilty by the, the jury, but the judge decided to give her probation. Oh. 
as opposed to yeah, sending her to prison. And that was basically what set the stage for Rodney King because LA was so upset over the situation right. that when Rodney King happened and when he was found, you know, when the cops were found not guilty, it was like, man, fuck this. Yeah. Like this keeps happening over and over again and we're sick of it. Yeah. We're gonna burn down the city. So yeah, and this leads into the OJ situation, which essentially went the other way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. No, completely. Yeah. I, I saw it. I know that that's part of the jury. It was like, it's a, uh, they're gonna say, forget it, this guy's not gonna get convicted. Yeah. It's a possibility.